All right, well, today's video is just gonna be another vlog day. Um, let me know how y'all are liking them. Tell me what I can change to make them better. Uh, yeah, I'll see y'all at the field. Finally made it to the field, about to go inside, get ready for some batting practice, and then see y'all out there. Set up the turtle. Gonna hit VP. Hey Braylon, tell him tell him what you did yesterday in the game. Chopper, uh, not enough. One was a single. Guy made an error, but they put up a triple, so I'll take it. And then uh, two home runs, man. Two home runs. Yeah. You know what else he was today? Late to put the infield grass saver on. I was. Kid hits two home runs and I was hitting game, off the huh? tee. I was hitting off. The tee. I swear, Casey, that's gone. Gone forever! Aaron Hernandez! Alright, going to get shag some balls now. This, I got Alright, power shagging. What's power shagging? You gotta introduce me and stuff, dude. <laughs> is I don't it, even know who is I this is Aaron, as y'all remember, the ugliest one on the team. Yeah, also the funniest. Um, all right, so here's what power shagging is, okay? So you are first, first step of power shagging is to be a pitcher. You can't power shag without being a pitcher. Um, am I right there, boys? Am you're I right. right there? Yeah. yeah, you're right. All right, so step two is you wanna find a position and hunker it down, right? You don't wanna be in a gap because that's not real power shagging. You don't wanna be, ideally, you wanna be in center field because you have the most room to run around. Power shag is just going balls to the wall for every fly ball and just making every play you can and then just working up a good sweat. Um, good form, key. Another rule of baseball shagging is you never want to turn your hat backwards. Like that's just a disrespect to the game. Um, there's only one person that can wear a backwards hat on the baseball field and that's King Griffey Jr. Other than that, you know, boys and girls out there, wear your hat forward. Um, when you're on the lake, do this, right? You know, look swaggy. When you're on the field, lock in right here. Um, What's up? How y'all doing? All right. Great day on the baseball field. I heard Aaron just talk to y'all. I'm sorry for that. Um, <laughs> Make sure you put crickets on that. All right, we will. Well, where are you from? I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Ball! I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> uh, my name is Tristan Bassetta. I go to Clemson, and it is day two with the Blowies. Go Blowies. Go Blowies. So, so, hey, Bo. What's up, buddy? If you were to milk a goat, or milk a cow, would you ride a camel? Don't ask stupid questions. Hey, okay, all right. What's up, buddy? Watch out, Stinger! All right, Bo. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, damn. 
Would you f rather fight 10 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? <laughs> Yeah, duck sized horses. Duck sized yep. horses. Yep. Why not That's just right. a duck? Okay, screw that. Give me that. A right. giant horse sized duck. Testing, testing. One, two. Uh, <laughs> hey, vlog. This is day 28 without food or water. I've lost all contact with humans and I'm starting to see things. I think this is my buddy Brock. Oh, you were my dream last night. Okay, all right, what? Brock. Yeah, was it, that actually? Yeah, you were. It's, it's crazy. Was it swag? No, it wasn't. It's oh. kind of wild. All right, I'm here with Brock Vredenberg uh, from Palo Alto, California. Not even close. Not even close. Where are you from? Pasadena. From, from Pasadena. Pasadena, Texas. No. Uh, from Pasadena, California. Plays at uh, Miami, Ohio. No. And Michigan State. <laughs> and uh, all right, Brock. What was the dream? Forget the dream. <laughs> okay, oh, he's up there. Come here. I'm here. How many kindergartners realistically do you think you could beat up if you're backed in a corner? <laughs> They're all coming at you. There's no planning. They're just attacking. Uh, how? Kindergartners. Kindergartners. Sorry, there was a. Kindergartners. Oh, forget that question. We're here with uh, Talmadge LaCroix. The glove. What? Maybe you can catch with this one. What's the hardest part about seeing one 28? Story time, Bo. Probably the maddest I've ever been in my life hunting in the woods, and I've grew up in them. Opening morning, oh, of primitive season. Me and my dad are going, and he had forgot the key to my deer stand, and he was like, "I just said, Dad, why don't you just let me hunt with you this morning, and we'll sit together, not to worry about it. Spend an extra 30 minutes going to get the key." And he said, "No, son, I ain't gonna see anything. We got a good deer on camera at your stand. Let's get you there." I said, all right, 30 minutes after daylight, I'm sitting there probably asleep, I don't know. Sure enough, bang! My dad shoots at the biggest deer he's ever seen in his life. He missed, and we searched for three hours, but I'd have killed it because I'm just a dead eye, you know, I don't miss things. Hey, it's the other team. But yeah, that's just a good, wholesome story. Thank you, Yeah, realistic. All right, back to the question. How many do you think you could be? They're not planning, they're just coming. Wait, restate the question. How many kindergartners do you think you could beat up? You're in a corner. They're not, there's no plan of attack. They're not organizing. They're not no buff kid. They're just kindergartners and they're coming at you. And you're in a corner you're by yourself. How many can you take? All right. I'd say. I'd say. Well, given the fact I'd probably step on a couple at a time at the same time, I could. I'd say. I'd say 20. Okay, all right. My Cause turn. Because one, one, like one drop kick will send like three of them back because they're really top heavy. Have you ever seen a little kid fall? Yeah. Their head accelerates on the way down. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the last person on the team that you'd let date your daughter? I already know my answer. I already know um, my I'm gonna have to go with CJ. CJ? Yeah, he, he's the worst. Who's the last person on the team that you'd let date your daughter? I mean, I think we gotta go CJ here. Yeah, CJ? Gotta go CJ. All right. The only answer is Cromer? CJ. That's the only answer. CJ? Be, yeah, I mean, he's just Crosby. terrible about it. Who's the last person on the team that you'd let date your daughter? Oh, well, Sykes. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, dude. Well, the classic. Who's the last person on the team that you let date your daughter? Oh, Wells. <laughs> Wells. That's too far. Definitely Brody. Brody? Yeah. All right, that's one for Brody. Probably like CJ or uh, Cam Dunlap. CJ? 100% CJ. Do not date CJ. CJ. Bye. That's a unanimous question. CJ. CJ? Yeah. Brody Hopkins. Brody? Brody Hopkins. Sorry. CJ. <laughs> CJ, who's the last person on the team that you let date your Carson Starnes. <laughs> Carson Starnes. Topper time. It's definitely CJ. 100%. All right, this is CJ. All right, CJ. I changed my answer. It's CJ. This is CJ. Brody. Brody. Yes, let's Brody go. Brody Uh, I'm going to go with the two people. I'm going to go 
David Cromer and Jared Kirvin. Those are my two answers. How are we going here with our trainer? Jeff. This is Jeff. Say hey to the. My name is Jeff. You feel that? Yeah. Back now. Give me four more rotations. Brody, Brody, come on. We got interviews, I'm Let's go. You want to interview JJ? It's because JJ is the man, first rounder. What are you, you going to do anything special with their baseline or no? Uh, I'll probably get some sprints in, so y'all get me on the stopwatch tonight. I'm going for uh, seven seconds and under. Okay. Uh, I might hit a backflip, you never know. Got banana stuff. If you do a backflip, um, what will you do if I do a backflip? What do you want me to do? Sure. If there was one guy on this team that you would let date your daughter, who would it be? Oh, you're definitely top three. Definitely not Brody. Uh, <laughs> what the? All right, hold no, up. No, you're top three. I'm back. I'm going to have three singles, and I'm stealing a bag today. All right. We will come back to that at the end of the game. One single. Oh, let's see a signature. Who's in left? Alright! Well, it was just hit a home run. <laughs> Home run. That was crushed. Two one us. Alright. And the bullpen. Can't see what they're up to. Let's see what they're doing. Looks like some hacky sack. Alright. Oh wow. Go Cam? What's that about? Hey, 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 camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I still broke that. You want to? Go again. Come on, Cam. <laughs> hey. hey. I got it, I got it, I got it right here. Oh, no. Interview time with Brody. Hello, it's Brody. I'm here again. I'm with my friend Topper, and we have a question for Topper. Topper. Why do you wear a headband underneath your hat? Uh, because I used to have long hair, and um, now it just makes my hat fit better. It's a snapback. <laughs> it fits no. It fits how you want it to fit. Yeah, but it's just like a ritual. All right, all right, all right interview time with Brody is over. Thank you, Topper. <laughs> all right, I'm giving it to a Hot Tom's player. How's it going? My name's AJ Roush, play for the High Toms. You said a fun fact? Fun fact, uh, favorite color is red. Favorite holiday, July 4th. That's all I got. My kink, yikes. Let me think about this one. Billy! 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 Billy!
Yeah. Oh, Stinger, Stinger, Gritty. Hello. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. All right. All right. Now you say hello. I'm angry. Hello. Good. It is eight to two. The glowfish are hitting. Uh, we're winning, and we're. I don't care that you broke your elbow, kid. Anyway, here's William. Say hello. Hey. I said, say hello. 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 Good man. We're in the middle of an inning. We're at the end of the inning because he just struck out. He just. All right. Well, we just lost again. Uh. I go eat and then um, change the head home. Yeah. I'll see y'all up there. Just got done eating. Um, headed to the locker room, get dressed, and then going home. Thank y'all for watching.